okay welcome to dtw tutorials welcome all right in today's video i'm going to be treating special trig ratios okay how to know your sign how to know your cost how to know your tan 45 um sign 60 and all and you know uh for your jam exam you don't use your scientific calculator <laughs> just like why why you use your scientific calculator so you know you just punch in and get but for your jam <laughs> And you will get questions like this in physics. There are some very uh, wonderful questions that you will see in physics. And there's something like sine 45. Okay. Or cos, cos 60. How do you know it? When you, you know, when you get into it, you can't forget. But there's a special trick I'm going to teach you today. All right. And it's very friendly and wonderful. All right. So, and it all involves in your right hand. Okay. Everyone, I want you to look at your right hand right now. Okay. So, on your right hand, what you do is, you do what? You do uh your thumb is zero degree this this or uh, this finger is what was going to be what 30 degrees this is going to be 45 degree this is going to be 60 degree and this is going to be 90 degree your last little finger here 90 degrees that's how you're going to label them in your mind all right so zero degrees 30 60 uh no uh, 30 45 60 and 90 you know from the lowest to the highest okay you can see i've done this here for you okay so what do you do now when you're told to find sine 30 okay and um, let's just leave this zero part okay because when you get the logic you know how to get the zero degree part all right but let me let's focus on the at least 30 45 60 getting the sine cosine then i will now tell you how to solve for your time okay so here to for example to get your sign 30 degrees what do you do you come to your hand you cross it you take it down okay and what do you have what do you have here you close this one down all right to your right is your sign to your left is your course okay so as you cross this to get sign 30 how many fingers do we have to our right that is left left just one so it will be what one the square root always square root whatever is on top your numerator and always divide by two okay so what is the square root of one is still what one and over two in any value you're looking for always square root the numerator and always divide by two so you can see here sine 30 degrees is what half okay so we've gotten half now let us let us treat sine 45 sine 45 the same logic you cross this how many do you have here you have two fingers left so that would be what the square root of two over what two do you see that how now so we do square root of two over two now let's do sine 60 okay what is sine 60 here we cross you know by looking for sine how many fingers do we have here we have what three so the square root of three over two that is what sine 60 now we have gotten this okay what about 90 you cross this right how many fingers you have left we have four so sine 90 is what the square root of four over two and what is the square root of four it is what two over two and you cross this one so sine 90 is what one do you see how we have co quickly completed our table and i always i will always advise students immediately you get into the hall if you're doing physics and maths on your rough sheet of paper just quickly you know once you have this table in your mind you can have a mental mapping you don't need to even go to your to your hands and trick again the only time you go there is maybe you've forgotten then you now apply that trick okay but well, you can quickly just have this table all right and just write fill it just fill it in quickly and keep it aside so that when you need to reference it you quickly go you don't need to start bothering yourself or you know maybe tension and all that and you forget Okay, so just quickly map out your key, uh, what I call it key points or key formulas. I think key formulas, okay, all those are your key formulas that you know repeatedly you use, map them out, and this is one of them. Your trig ratios is one of them. Now, let us go to cost 30. Okay, so for cost 30, I hope you can see the board. Okay, now this is 30. Cost is on this side. All right, how many fingers do we have left when we cross out cost? Uh, uh, 30 we have one two three so that'll be square root of three over two 
Okay, so we write square root of 3 over 2. Okay, what about cos 60? Okay, when we cross out uh, 60, how many fingers do we have left? 1. So that's the square root of 1 over 2. And which is what? 1 over 2. Okay, so we have 1 over, two, uh, sorry, 60 I went to. That's 1 over 2. But let us look at the cos of 45. What's the cos of 45? Come with me here. Cos 45 degree. Okay, when we cross 45, we have 2 here left. So that's the square root of 2 over 2. So we have square root of 2 over 2. Okay, what is cos 90? Cos 90. All right. Because 90, when we cross 90 here, there's nothing here, zero. So know that your answer is what zero. Because 90 is what zero. Okay? So here, now, to get tan, remember in your math formula, what is the formula for tan? It is what sine over cos. Okay? So to get any tan of this, let's say you want to get tan 30, just divide this value, half divided by this. And what is half? Let me, let me quickly do it here. Half divided by square root 3 over 2, you know you're going to invert. So we have 1 over 2 times 2 over root 3. And this will cancel. And this is what? 1 over what root 3. That's the tan of 30. Okay? Are you... Okay. Let me just complete everything. Let me complete the table with you. Okay? Uh, so, uh, what is 45 times 45 times 45? So we divide this by this. Uh, where do we do this? Let's do it here. So we divide. So root 2 over 2 divided by root 2 over 2 you know when we multiply change this will be 2 and this will be root 2 i hope you can see this that it cancels 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 and we have one the tan of 45 is one what is the tan of 60 let us come here so that will be sine divided by this so we have here let me come down here so we have root 3 when you divide when we change the multiplication with 2 over 1 so this cancels so the tan of 60 is what root 3 <coughs> And what is the tan of 90? That is what <coughs> uh, 1 divided by 0, and which is what infinity. Okay? Yeah. So uh, this is, you know, for 0, let us quickly do 0. 0, what is the sign of 0? The sign of 0 will be 0 because it's just here. There's nothing out here. What will be the cost of 0? The cost of 0 will be this, will be 1, 2, 3, 4. That will be 4, the square root of 4 divided by 2, and that will be 2 over 2. The cost of zero is one. Make sure you know this. The cost of zero is one. There are tricky physics questions, uh, math questions you get on this cost of zero. You know, some people think cost of zero is zero. No, it is not what? Zero. Okay? And this, the tan of zero will definitely be, this is zero divided by one, which is also zero. Zero. Okay? All right? So here we have what? Our final table. Okay, we are complete. We complete our final table using this trick. Okay, I want you to watch this video and, uh, you know, learn more about it. Okay, and if you have any questions, let me know. Okay, and uh, what else? What else finally? What else finally? Yeah, finally, Jesus Christ is coming soon. Please do give your life to Christ for he's the way, he's the truth, and he's the life. He's the one who's going to lead you to heaven at last. And give you peace here on earth. Jesus is coming soon. Please do give your life to Christ. Okay? And from us, from DTW to Dreyas, you are destined to win in your forthcoming jam 2024 examination and also in life. Okay? And what else? What else? Yeah, please don't forget to, please do get the DTW Jam CBT app to practice all your past questions on a CBT interface. Okay? And you can join our live classes with this, like three weeks to exam, and we are still doing, uh, you know, live classes. And the next, the last two weeks to exam, which is from April, okay, we are going to be doing intensive classes. So please do join us. All right, take care and stay blessed. You are destined to win.